Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo. This gorgeous set on the screen, check it out. I am so in love or was so in love with the set when I had it. Stay tuned if you wanna see how I got this done. So I'm getting started by, well, I've already prepped off camera. Um, I had a previous set on. I think it was that uh, blue glitter um, encapsulated um, gel polish set um, that was super, super long and super sparkly and pretty. I loved that set, but um, I think I just wanted something brighter and, you know, more ready for spring. So this is another collab video, Madam Glam. Um, I will be using another one of the gel polishes that I selected from their site. And it, as you can see, it came out so, so great. So I've already prepped, but just to make sure that my nails are nice and even, I'm just quickly going in and filing with this 100-100 hand file. Um, when doing these gel tips, I try to keep my nails as short as possible um, so that they're not showing through and or behind the nail too much. So I'm getting started by sizing myself up with these Alchem Nude XXL Square No C Curve Tips. That's like a full mouthful. Um, I am in love with these tips. Um, I saw them on Instagram maybe a month or two ago, bought them. I've been wearing them nonstop. It's like my go-to. I think it's the shape and the length for me and the fact that they're not C Curve. However, I will say, I have to be honest with you all, they are so thin. Um, the first set that I wore, I think I cracked one of the nails just because there's not structure built into how long these nails are after about four or five days. And it happened again with the second set that I wore. I didn't film that. Um, so with this set, I was very, very careful in what I was doing. But you know, when you wear long nails, you want to be able to just live your life and not be like um, tentatively moving your hands around or can I pull up my jeans like I want to um, with these nails. So that's something to keep in mind. But I think the shape and the length and the nude and the gorgeousness of the tips is worth it. It's definitely thinner than a prey tip. Um, you don't get that structure or the solidity. Is that a word? They're not as solid or as stiff as an appray tip, but they are beautiful. So you saw me going in and etching the nail. Um, I'm just using the appray um, primer to do so. And then I am dehydrating and etching my nail with primer as well. I'm just going to get started. I am using the Beatles um, gel nail. It says nail glue, but it's not nail glue. It's uh, the builder in a bottle pretty much to get these nails to stick. And I have this rubber gooseneck um, LED light that I have clamped onto my table. So I think that has been so handy in terms of doing these gel tips um, for me and for clients that so you can see I moved it into frame a little bit. So I applied my bead of glue to the tip directly. I did not lay a base layer of um, gel on my nails. I just decided to go in with it and it stuck pretty well. I'm still not wearing them now, but they lasted a really long time. Um, so there you go. I'm brushing in the glue and then just adding excess and making sure that they are straight. I have really wobbly fingers. So what I do, I say it all the time, is I just envision a straight line up the entire length of the fig finger rather than going with the fingertip. And it works out pretty fine. This, I don't know, I feel like I love acrylic work. I think there's something really special about acrylic work, but I can't tell you guys like the ease and the speed of just doing these gel tips is just life-saving. Um, when I wanna do a quick set change, it's just, it takes less than 10 minutes to get these nails on. It's fantastic. So as you can see, we're almost done getting these nails on and it was no muss, no fuss, no having to file, nothing crazy. I love my acrylic, but these are just life-saving. If you're in a pinch, gel tips are definitely the way to go. So now that they're all on, I am just taking that same hand file and we're just cleaning up the shape. Like I mentioned, I absolutely love this shape. I am a tapered square girl um, and I'm not cutting them down at all. So I'll be wearing them full length. So I'm just taking the hand file and just cleaning up. It does have that little tab on the top of the nail um, and I'm just cleaning up the sidewalls a little bit, but nothing crazy here.
always good practice to go in and file around the cuticle area. You just want it to look nice and flush. I already prepped off screen, so my cuticles are, or my epinicum is looking nice and tight, but I like to go in with a bit anyway around that cuticle area just to make sure that it's a nice seamless transition. Also, if you have any glue that seeped out during your application process, this is the time to kind of file that down as well. quick dust off to make sure that we're nice and ready for gel application and in speaking of gel this is another color from Madame Glam it is called Fifth Avenue and I love this color it was one that really really spoke to me when I was able to choose and I was really feeling springy I wanted something that wasn't so obvious but that was like really really gorge and this is it it's kind of like a mustardy orange yellow and it definitely as you saw came out so gorgeous so to base these nude nails they do have a base of nude which is really nice but it's sheer and um, I just wanted to make sure that you couldn't really see through the nail so I'm just going in with this gorgeous color by Kiara Sky it is called cheeky I think it's one of my favorite nude gel polishes of all time um, it's this warm kind of brownie pink rather than it being like a beige and I'm just so in love with this color and it's kind of sheer so it's not a fully opaque color which I so appreciate so as you can see the difference between the nude nail and the color after the cheeky it just adds a touch of color so that you're not instantly able to see through that tip I'm gonna cure for a minute and lock that down always good practice to clean your sidewalls before curing so that you're not warping that gorgeous gorgeous shape and guys like ugh, these nails look so good um so to get started with this gorgeous color by madame glam i am going to be doing three almond french nails um it is a little hard to see in this clip but the color is super super vibrant it's just because i had it angled down so i could do my own nails you guys know how hard it is to film and do your nails at the same time but i'm doing my best for you so i am just using a liner brush um nothing crazy to build a nice deep almond french shape so 
How I do this is I try to always just start by picking the length of where I want that French to start and then building from side to side. You're gonna see me going from one side to the other, back to the one side to the other, and then slowly curving in that line and bringing down the deep sidewall. There you go, down the sidewall, nice and deep so that we get that really gorgeous elongated almond shape. I just think it's really gorgeous when it's a nice long almond versus it being like a rounded kind of stunted shape. I think it just makes the nail bed look nice and long and it just makes the fingernail look nice nice and length, lengthy and slender and pretty. I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing this French on the pinky, the ring finger, and on my thumb. Here's another tip. As you saw, I flipped my hand over. We, you know, often get into the practice of just holding your hand in one direction. Do, especially when doing your own nails, move your hand around in different directions before finalizing because what looks good in one direction may not look good in the other. So as you can see, I'm flipping back and forth, making sure that that almond is nice and straight um, because the way that I see myself, my hand may be twisted, you know, when it's folded this way versus if I hold it out straight, you don't wanna do all this gorgeous work and end up with crooked nails. And don't forget to clean your sidewalls. All done with the French just now. So the star of this set are these butterflies. This color was speaking to me 
and I just knew that I wanted to do some butterflies, these monarch butterflies. So I've never really done this before. I've done it on my channel using pigment, but to draw these like I did today or in this video, I haven't done before. So I was just winging it. I was really just, you know, going from what I thought it would look like. And I think it came out kind of good. Um, just trust the process and, you know, it's going to look bad before it gets a little bit better. Everything you do um, kind of takes it to the next level and you're going to kind of see that happening. So to get started, I am just drawing these wings um, and I'm just going for general kind of flower petal shapes, I guess, um, making the bottom wings of the butterfly like this one and the one across from it smaller or narrower and then making the top wings like this one and the one to the right wider or thicker. Um, and I am using um, a good amount of gel. I kind of want that pigment to be there. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm ignoring the center of the butterfly because I knew I was going to ombre um, colors into it. You see on my palette, I've got a whole bunch of colors going. At this point, I wasn't sure what colors I was going to be using, but I knew that um, I didn't have to worry about the outside. I mean, the inside of the butterfly. I'm just focusing on building up the color, color and pigment of the, um, the butterfly wings on the outer edges. I think I'm doing about three butterflies on each nail and trying to make sure that I have at least one full butterfly on every nail and then the other two will just kind of be off the sides. So you might see like three petals, not petals, um, what are they called? Wings. <laughs> three wings on one butterfly or like half of it off the edge of the nail but I just wanted to make sure that I had at least one that was like a full butterfly figure. So I did cure this down just to lock it down because I was liking where it was going, but I was like, okay, I gotta ombre some colors. How do I do that now that the gel is dried? So I went back in and quickly just added a second coat of that same polish on top of everything that I've already done. And that is because I wanna blend some gel colors. Um, and I can't do that because I've already cured it. So no biggie. Um, I did fix it on the second nail. So I'm just going in and placing it. Then I'm gonna take a slightly, there you go, see me picking. I wasn't sure what color to choose, um, but I just decided to go with orange. I was thinking of doing like a pink to like plum kind of color with the orange which would have been cool but it would have been too similar to the other butterfly set that I did on my channel. I will link that in the cards. Definitely check that out because it was also on a really short set. Um, so for any of you who prefer a nice shorter set you can see what butterflies would look like on you. So I'm taking a slightly lighter orange color and because the previous color is wet I'm able to just you know go back and forth with the brush and kind of blend those colors together. So the outside butterfly wings are the darker, deeper orange. Then as you see on the inside, I'm placing a lighter orange and then we're going to go even lighter after that. So I didn't actually have a, an orange that was even lighter than the one that I just placed. So I actually took a beige. This is actually like cream colored. Um, and I'm using a very, very tiny amount of it, but you can see it does work. It looks really, really good. Um, I didn't want to do white because I figured that would be too stark. So I'm just going back and forth, blending the colors. I have not cured at this point. Um, and the goal is just to brighten up the center of that butterfly so that it's a little bit, it stands out a little bit. Once happy, I'm going to cure it and lock that down. Now I'm doing the same exact thing on the other finger. This is my pointer finger, only I'm just moving the placement of the butterflies around. And now that I know that I need wet gel, I am just not gonna cure this first layer of the orange color.
So at this point, I was still kind of feeling like the butterflies. They looked really great and the dimension is really cool, but I wanted a little bit of sparkle. So I actually took some gold gel paint that I got from iGel Beauty and I am just brushing light strokes of that gold right in the center of the butterfly so that they kind of shimmer in the middle. Um, I knew we were gonna do a lot more detail work, but I really, really loved how the gold just tied in that really gorgeous um, color. It just fits in the family, I think, of that um, gel color Fifth Avenue by Madame Glam, so I thought it was a great, great idea. As you can see, I'm just using light strokes. I'm not trying to paint the whole thing gold. You just wanna kind of have the butterfly kind of shimmer in the middle. Then to tie in the gold with the rest of the set, I am going to be outlining these French nails with the same gel paint. So at this point things are looking kind of good and now we've got to ground these butterflies and make them kind of stand out against the nude with that orange. They're very similar in color and the way that I did that is with black. Now this was kind of scary because I wanted the line detailing to be super fine and dainty but I found that the way to do it is to go in the opposite direction is to go in and do a thicker black line. That's because later we're going to add some more detailing that makes this look super super cool. So around the very very tip of the edges of the um, wings, I keep saying petals, why do I say petals with butterflies? With the wings I'm making the lines thicker. So you're going to see me draw the line and then add more black gel liner around the edges of the wings, not towards the center. Can't forget the little body of our little butterfly friend and then some antenna and a few dots. I'm trying not to make the dots and antenna like super intentional, just using super, super tiny beads of that gel to just kind of imply that this little butterfly has a head and some, you know, antenna or whatever they're called. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing on all of the other butterflies and then cure.
for some more details at this point. I was like, all right, it's looking kind of good. We're getting there. Now I'm gonna be drawing in these small, really thin, when I say thin, I'm using basically no gel on the brush, um, just whatever is left over. And I'm just drawing these tiny little wisps of black. I kind of knew what I wanted it to look like, but honestly, in practice, I was just winging it, honest, winging it, get it, guys? I was winging it. Okay, I'm funny, whatever. I might be funny, but I'm a little lame. It's okay, it was funny. Um, but yeah, I'm winging it. I'm literally just drawing these tiny little wisps, and at this point, you want the brush to be as dry or have as little gel on it as possible. You don't wanna have super thick lines here, which is why the thick lines on the outside were so helpful, because now these lines look super nice and dainty. Um, you don't wanna do too many of them, just kind of wing it. I'm saying winging it a lot, huh? SMH. Anyway, but you get what I'm saying. Um, just make the lines around the edge of the butterfly thicker so that the lines inside the wings um, look even more dainty. So at this point, we're looking kind of good. But then I was like, how do I incorporate this black into the other nails? You know, we had the gold going on. So I decided to add some twinkle stars. Um, and the way that I started off was by mixing black and clear gel polish, just so that we have like a sheer kind of black. Um, I'm just adding a ball of that. Then I'm taking a, I cured that. So then I'm taking just pure black and placing it right at the center. And it just kind of gives this illusion of it being faded out. So the previous color mixed with the clear gel um, fades out the black. Then you add a dot of solid black. So it looks like it just is emanating a glow. And then I'm taking my super, super fine detail brush, which is, you know, crooked and, you know, it still works. And I'm just drawing the twinkle star from there. So it looks like it's glowing a little bit. And I just thought, yeah, it's just a nice way to get the black incorporated into the rest of the set. Once done with that, I'm gonna cure, and then we are gonna start adding the detail that will make these butterflies come alive. So I found my tiniest, tiniest dotting tool um, that doesn't hold very much gel, which I love. Um, and I'm just taking white gel polish, and we are just adding dots around that thick black line around the outside edges of the butterfly wings that we did before. So this is also a benefit of doing those lines a little bit thicker, the outer edge lines of the butterfly. You can squeeze as many of those white dots, and as you can see, the butterfly just kind of comes to life. Like, I don't know what it is, but these white dots just made it happen. Um, so I'm just, you know, taking my time to place them. I'm trying to put bigger dots around the very very tip of the butterflies and then make them taper into smaller dots as we get towards the center of the body of the butterfly. Once then I'm going to cure and it's looking pretty good. Now 
Then I thought, let's add another twinkle star, but in the white color, just to make sure that we have the black and the white incorporated in this set. So same thing, I mixed some white with some um, base gel just to get it a nice sheer white. Now I'm going in with a pure white dot and then I'm gonna take my brush and just draw a nice twinkle and cure that down. almost done with this gorgeous set we are going matte I had to because matte is my favorite I love a matte nail um, this set is just so me it's nude it's square it's super long it's matte gotta love it um, so we are doing a nice thin and generous said thin and generous they're oxymorons right um, a nice generous coating but not like a drippy coating so when I say thin I mean it's fully coated um, but I'm making sure that everywhere is properly coated especially with matte top coats you just want to make sure that you don't go in with second coats because then you get the streaks the beauty of a matte top coat is that if you apply a good amount you get this beautiful velvety finish um, I think I ran out of the other bottles so I just grabbed my backup of matte it by not polish no problem um, again nice coat be careful um, if you don't cure fully you might drag some color from the previous colors we added quite a bit on these nails don't forget to clean your sidewalls make things nice and tight and then cure for at least a minute So the final, final step of the set is to add the bling. I don't know about you, but I just think that there's something super gorgeous and just breathtaking about a matte nail with sparkle on top. Um, so I am taking my Zule bling adhesive. I didn't want to do the bling gel method just because it was a lot. Um, and I was just kind of like, let's just do this super fast. And it actually worked really well. These stones did not move for like a week and a half. Um, so Zule, shout out to you. So I'm randomly placing beads of glue and using the tiniest rhinestones that I could find. I believe they're like an SS2. Um, and just placing them randomly first on these butterfly nails um, just to give them a little bit more sparkle. You can see how cute these butterflies are. And it really just is lovely, isn't it? To see this gorgeous matte nail with the details and then just have a touch of something twinkling as I move my hands around. So I'm not placing too many of them. I'm spacing them out adequately, making sure that you know there's no empty space Space, but not adding too much then I was like let's just add a little bit of sparkle to the other nails and the perfect thing to do was to place two stones right in the center of those twinkle stars so it's not taking away from the butterflies which are the stars of the show definitely check out this action shot not an action shot the still shots so you can see the detail that went into it I loved this set everyone who saw them also loved this set Thank you to Madam Glam for sending me these gorgeous products. Check out these gorgeous butterflies. Like this video if you like. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.